Hey everyone, Cinema Dado back here. Just about to head into Fenty's Flea Market. Head into the video game movie dome. And uh, I will check back in with you guys later on because I'm about to pick up some goodies once again. Cinema Dado back here at the Movie Dome. Had to make my monthly trip up here to see Pam. Eventually, she's going to run out of space up here. Eventually, <laughs> she's got a lot of goodies. This Blu-rays. Love it. Love it. Love it. You want to wave, Pam? Hey. There's Pam. Hi. My favorite person to come see every month. She's also got games, too. All right, everyone, just got home from the movie dome, and let's go ahead and let's take a look at exactly what I picked up on this trip. First off, I picked up Big Hero 6. I've never seen this, but I know this is this has really become a, a beloved Disney film, so I definitely wanted to check this out. And It's been on my radar for a while, but I've always seemed to pass on it, but now I will go ahead and check it out. So, happy to pick up that one. Also picked up My Bloody Valentine 3D. This is the remake of My Bloody Valentine. I believe the year on this one, if I'm not mistaken, 2009. I can't believe it's been that long already since this film came out. I remember seeing this a while back when it did come out. and But again, not a lot of it you know, is sticking with me in my head. So a good chance to go ahead and revisit this film. Another slasher film to add to the collection. So happy to get that one. Now, here's one that I saw. There were some clips on YouTube the other day about this. And it's one of those films that a lot of people say, you know, you got to check it out. It's, it's, it's a really underrated film. And that is Priest. Paul Bettany is in this as well. You know, he's our main, our main uh, hero in the film. He hasn't turned into Vision just yet, guys. Not yet. But this film, if I'm not mistaken, this look at the year on this one, 2011. Man, I can't believe time just flies for a lot of these films. But this is one that is, the clips that I saw on YouTube, it looked pretty darn good. And again, it's really an underrated film in a lot of people's eyes now. So I wanted to pick this one up and check it out. I also picked up, here's another one that I have never, I've never seen this film, and that is Sinister. I wanted to see this one, and I had to pick it up. It was there on the shelf. You just never know what you're going to come across at the Movie Dome. And this is one. Happy to add this one to the collection and check it out. If I'm not mistaken, I believe, I want to say, is this a... I want to say it was a James Wan film, but it's not a James Wan film. But it is a Blumhouse film. So, so looking forward to checking it out. Now, when I had to pick, this is one of the reasons why I went up there. Hitman's wife's bodyguard. I had the first, you know, I had the first one. Now that I upgraded up to, well, we were up to uh, 4K, so again, that's why I upgraded because I knew I was going to get the second one in 4K. So I really enjoyed the first one a lot. This is another one that I'm looking forward to checking out. Really, really like Ryan Reynolds, and I'm looking forward to, you know, diving into that one. That might be tonight's film. You never know. Now here's another one that's definitely gained in popularity over the years. Didn't do good when it came out originally, but it, again, it has gained in popularity, and that is Looper. Bruce Willis, as well as uh, uh, Joseph Gordon-Levitt. You know, it's a time travel film, and I'm down for a time travel film. So let's go all in. Let's check out Looper. Looking forward to looking checking that one out. Race to Witch Mountain. Have to add to my Dwayne Johnson collection. And you'll see I have another Dwayne Johnson film added in as well. But this is one I've never seen. And it's a Disney film. And it's 
pretty loaded too. Blu-ray, DVD, and digital copy as well. So this is a pretty hefty case. A lot of these original, you know, Blu-rays when they came out, you know, a number of years back. A little bit heftier in the cases. But looking forward to adding, and always good to add more of the rock. If you smell what I'm cooking, got to add more of the rock. All right. Continuing on right along, Corpus Bride. Been a long time since I've seen this film. Tim Burton. Got to pick it up. Is it as good as Nightmare Before Christmas? Absolutely not. But it's still a pretty solid film. And I do, you know, the animation is done very, very well in this film. So, happy to add that. Sandlot, a classic. Baseball classic. And a real coming of youth classic as well nowadays. So, looking forward to checking out the Sandlot once again. Rango. Little Johnny Depp. Now, as I mentioned, Mr. Rock, Mr. Dwayne Johnson, Central Intelligence, with him and Kevin Hart. Had to add this to the collection. This is one that I ordered from Amazon a while back, and for some reason, it's just out of stock, and I don't know when or if they're ever going to get it back in stock. So I was like, I saw it there, I'm going to grab it. So, and this is, this is really funny, this film. Great combination with these two. Real great comedy duo, these two. Alright, almost done. Now here we go. Here's one. A wrestling Blu-ray. The Randy Savage Story. Macho Man. Big Macho Man fan. And this is a... What is this? this is a two-disc collection. Yeah, all about the Macho Man. Oh, yeah. So I had to go and get that one. Kiss of the Dragon. Jet Li. Little martial arts action. And finally... Probably the number one reason I went up there. The Conjuring 3. The Devil Made Me Do It. Again, I grabbed it in 4K. Why not? I mean, 15 bucks. You cannot beat it. 15 bucks for this. So, very, very happy to have this. And, yeah. Again, let's go ahead and open it. Let's go ahead and take a look at it real fast. Again, not as good as the first two Conjurings. You know, not directed by James Wan. But, still... I thought it was it was it was pretty good. It was pretty good. All right, we got a little little Warner Brothers uh, pamphlet here, little advertisement, Swamp Thing on there, and we have our 4K and Blu-ray combo. So not bad at all. Yeah, pretty good trip up to the movie dome. And, you know, since we took a look at The Conjuring 3, let's go ahead and open up Hitman Wife's Bodyguard and take a look at that one as well, because that is a 4K. I do like the cover. I do like the cover quite a bit. I get him and Samuel Jackson. So funny in that first film. There's the, there's the front. Same as the slip. And again, 15 bucks. I'm not complaining. 4K and Blu-ray combo. Very, very happy to have this in the collection as well. So yeah, another successful trip to the movie dome. And I can't wait to get out there again and see what kind of goodies she has this time. Because there's always something, some kind of surprise waiting every time I go up there. So, like, subscribe, and comment if you get the chance. And I'll catch you in another episode. Take care.